Yo, Otterwild here with a review of the out of position. Well, not really out of position halfback Bo Jackson. As you can see, I have him compared to the Snow Beast Adrian Peterson. Adrian goes for around 300k, and Bo Jackson goes for around 150k for more, around 450,000 coins. It's only a plus two overall difference, but you can tell there's a big difference in stats. Bo Jackson has plus five speed, plus six spin move, plus five is that plus five truck? And like, uh, he's pretty much better in every single stat. Maybe not for catching. But overall, Bo Jackson is a monster. Him and Barry are tied for the number one running back. Barry's probably better at being elusive and catching, but Bo Jackson is definitely better at breaking tackles on his own and trucking, as you'll see here. As you can see here, there's no user input needed. Bo Jackson is breaking these tackles on his own. And as a, for a running back and for someone who's picking up the game, that's such a valuable trait that's not really talked. It's talked about, but not talked about enough, in my opinion, to where a running back will break tackles on his own it's so frustrating for the opponent and it allows you to make bigger plays than what you normally would. Now for the most part, Bo Jackson didn't fumble for me and he took hits very well. But there was this one game, as you can see here, he only fumbled for me twice and they were both in the same game. As you can see here, I play on balance. That one was a little bit after the spin, but I just don't want to let you guys know that it is possible for him to fumble, even though he only fumbled twice in one game. Now as far as catching wise, he isn't a receiving back in my opinion. He can't catch and obviously with him being such a great running back, he can make a lot of moves after the catch. But I would not depend on him on third and uh, short, as you can see here, I actually pass it to him in that situation. But when you really need to pass the ball, you need something like a conversion, I wouldn't trust him because he will drop the ball randomly. There, there doesn't even need to be anybody near him or anything like that. He just will drop the ball and open pass. He, he doesn't need to get hit, as you can see here. I wouldn't trust him. He, he's, he's capable of doing it on first down if you really don't need it, even though you need yards all the time. but. I wouldn't depend on him catching. Now trucking, you guys knew that catching, trucking was going to be where he's going to shine, and he definitely does that. I feel like it, running the ball is obviously the meta right now because when you can't, when it comes to spinning, you can spin with Barry Sanders. You can pretty much spin out anybody, and when it comes to trucking, when you truck somebody, the rest of the defense stands still until you're done with the truck and make animation is done, which I think is pretty dumb. But if it works, if that's what the game is this year, that's what the game is this year. For a top tier back, Bo Jackson or Barry Sanders is who you want. If you run to the outside with a lot of tosses and stretches, you probably want Barry Sanders. But if you do your fair amount of power runs and dives and trap runs that you need to get for running backs up the gut, I definitely think Bo Jackson is the move. As you can see here, these moves after he gets the ball are just insane. He can spin out just about anybody. He can stiff arm anybody. He can truck anybody. He, he can take hits from pretty much anybody. He doesn't, he doesn't really fumble a lot. There isn't much at fault with this Bo Jackson except for his catching. If you do need a catching back, I do recommend go with Barry Sanders over him just for that reason. But overall, he's obviously worth his price. He's only 150k more than one of the better backs in the game is Adrian Peterson. But I do think you should pick him up if you do have the coins for him. That's it for this video. See you guys around next time. Peace.